The devil would have us believe that we're alone. It's one of his great temptations that you alone know this kind of suffering, fill in the blank, whatever kind of hurt you're going through. That you alone have experienced this. No one else could possibly know what you're going through, this kind of thing. This is exactly what the church combats. That we're not alone, we're together, we're in a community, the communion of saints. The Holy Spirit pulls us together, sets us apart from the world, sets us apart together in this thing called the church. Each of us members, a member of the body of Christ, a finger, an eye, an ear, joined together, Christ is our head. We're not alone. We all know suffering because we all live in a sinful world. As an admission counselor here at Concordia Theological Seminary, that's what I want people to know. That's why I want to recruit pastors. I want to talk with men who are considering the ministry and encourage them to do this work. It's the greatest work a man could ever do. To go to battle against the demonic army, against the lies of the devil, against the misconceptions of the world with the cross. See, it's not our, it's not our battle, really, ultimately. We are the body of Christ. We're, we're nothing but a hand holding his sword. But to be a man, to do that. And in this day and age, when the world is, is adamantly against the church, against Jesus Christ, to knowingly step up and say, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, I know the world hates me. I know the world hates the church. That's why I need to do this. Because souls need to be saved. People, people need to be saved. They're dying daily and they need to hear the gospel. They need to hear they're not alone. That's why I make these videos. Started vlogging at the beginning of 2020 and that quickly turned into Alone Together in Christ. Remember that? What do we got today? I fell in love with this idea of connecting the church, of showing whoever wants to watch, showing you that you're not in this alone, that we're in this together. Because that's one of the biggest lies Satan likes to tell. That I'm all by myself. That no one else is around me, no one there to help me. And that's just not true. With this admissions position that I recently took, now I get to come and I get to work with men and, and women who want to be deaconesses. I get to work with those who want to serve the church and, and encourage them to do this great work. And I get to go places. And with technology, I get to bring you with me and show you the church at work. I'm going to do a lot more of that. Go around and show you the church. Starting another live stream in that same grain as Alone Together in Christ, although this one will be based around Concordia Theological Seminary. This is what I do. This is where I'm at. And I'm going to speak, in each episode, I'm going to speak to alumni. I'm going to speak to members of the church who graduated from Concordia Theological Seminary. I'm going to ask them when they graduate, and where they serve, and what they would tell someone, a man who wants to be a pastor, what they would tell him, why he should do it. I'm going to ask these seasoned soldiers from the seminary if they would do it again, what they've experienced, the challenges they've experienced and the fruit of their labor if they can see it. And would they do it again? What wisdom they might impart to a, a young man or, or a second career man who's considering this line of work. The seminary has been doing this for 175 years. Concordia Theological Seminary is the oldest seminary in the Missouri Synod. Been gathering men for 175 years to serve and now more than ever, we need men who, with eyes wide open, will go into the ministry, will go out there into the harvest field and will preach the gospel. Help me know that I'm not alone in this. 
subscribe to this channel if you're finding this to be of interest to you, this kind of content. My vlog episodes or this new show I'm about to launch, Soldiers from the Sem. Click that notification bell so you know when I post new videos and, and give each one that you like a thumbs up. Uh, that way other people will find it as well. YouTube will share it with more people the more, more interaction it has. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this content or anything that this video stirs up in your heart and your head. I uh, just want to engage. Show the world that we're not alone. Give hope and comfort to people. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all your time. God bless you, and we'll see you in the next video.